right? First country to do it with the African country to do it with the local coach. And have you ever seen a team score to lead and you felt no matter what Portugal did, they were never going to come back? Ne <laughs> no matter what happened, they no. just never looked like they were going to find a goal. Yeah, no matter what they threw at Morocco. Morocco was so disciplined defensively. And that has been their script from the beginning. They have considered, I think, only one goal the whole tournament. An own goal. And Yes, and it's an own goal. They, are, they have a very good goalkeeper, Pierre, there. He has saved a lot of penalties. So, oh my goodness, it, it was such a, f a joy to watch them. The way, especially just the way they are very, very disciplined. Now, Konayo, you know, this is it. We mm. have to do this. We have to do this. Oh my goodness. I enjoyed the game very much. Plus, they have the support of both Africa and the Arab nations. So, imagine the kind of reception they're receiving, Uko. And it's so much. They, if you receive such kind of reception from the fans, you can even play for another two hours without even kuchoka. Mm. Plus, they're so solid. The only mm. point I thought they might just lose this is when Joa Felix had the ball. That's my only, that's the only point where I saw. F when you look at his two strikes, the first one, which uh, yeah. was saved by the goalkeeper, then the second one, wow, it was just... No, he's, <laughs> he's pretty he's good. good. Yeah. yeah. But I never once, just like with France, I never once felt like Morocco were in danger. As soon as they scored, mm. just felt like Portugal didn't know what to do. Yeah, uh, and maybe just to go back to the Moroccan side, because... I, I don't think we are we love seeing teams defend but for the first time we are looking well, at the who side doesn't <laughs> i i i am a big fan of <laughs> my most popular my best euro i have ever watched to date is euro 2004 because the greeks went there had never won a game at the euro and they found their way to victory and they did it like that defend defend find their own goal yeah, defensive football mm. is beautiful. Yeah. I think it's fantastic. I love teams who defend, especially when you're defending with a plan. A okay. Yes, and like yeah. you are very organized and you can tell that we just wait. Let's just wait. It's mm. coming and then mm. it comes. So for my for my case, I, I'm a lover of attacking football, but for the first time I'm looking at a side and I'm impressed. I, I smile every time I see them clearing the ball and of course there is something else about them. It's just not defending, but they al always have a plan in terms of how they're going to attack and most of them are pretty good chances that maybe at the end of the game you, you don't see them scoring. And one of them was one that came in the late of the game, Abu Klal, maybe he should have scored that goal. Yeah. But again, some of the storylines heading into this game, I think they all point into a Portuguese victory because of Morocco playing 120 minutes in the previous game, Portugal winning easily in the previous yeah, game and days, being rested. But these days of, of youth, these yeah. days of mm. high strength and conditioning <coughs> levels, mm -hmm. these days of players being fit and eating healthy and no gluten free and no sugar, mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't think those things matter much unless mm. you are, if your team is full of 30 something year olds, maybe. Yeah. But when your team is 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 relatively youngish, mm. I think you will be okay. Because there are how many days between games? Three, Around four three games. Days, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think you will be okay. And I, what about maybe the storyline that they're only playing with one of their of their of their back four who was Romain Saiz and the <laughs> Masroy was out. Yes, the system works. Yeah, mm. for for Morocco is the system works. They have a system. Everyone fits Adapt. into the system. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes, they are Brighton. We have a system we mm. play like this. Mm. You come and fit into the system. Yeah. Mm. So you remove where you sit, put in the put, put. And then just the organizational bit of them. They are so organized. They are very un-African in that regard. Mm. Yeah, African teams are never that organized. They, they, <laughs> African teams cannot keep shape for that long. You, yes. you watch it and you know. Senegal, you, you knew. You're like, just, just wait. It's coming. Yeah, it's, it's coming. Yeah. They are so organized. Yes. They, and I almost feel like they are almost not... They are, they are Africans, yes, but they fact that they have a lot of roots yes. from away from Africa, mm. like they've yeah, 14, developed their football away from in yeah, Europe, yeah. Mm -hmm. 14, it helps them. And 14 out of the 26 players in the Moroccan camp were born outside Morocco. That, thank yes. you. That yes. is the start of the day. <laughs> 14 <laughs> of 26 were born out of Morocco. Yes. Their football education is not been in Morocco. Yes. So they are, they because they, I think players who are not born, players who are raised in europe have a lot more tactical awareness mm -hmm. more tactical mm -hmm. discipline more everything yeah they are, there's just a bit more discipline now than it is here and no offense to us it's just the way we are as africans we emotions overcome us a bit yeah because even generally arab nations get the emotions become especially algeria mm. they, they yes mm, yeah. morocco seem to have almost this it's like they are mixing the european tenacity and discipline and emotional control with mm. the fire 
of the Arab world. Yeah. Because yeah. they have a fire. Yes, they have they a have. fire. Yes. Mm-hmm. They, they have this nice blend because they just don't break. They're just not broken down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I am looking forward to France versus... I actually, here's what yeah. I think. Yeah. I think they would have had less of a chance versus England than they will have versus okay, France. France. Yes. I do think so. The English have a thing against teams where they feel they have a complex over. <laughs> okay. They just find ways to beat them. Yeah. But with France, it's going to be France Morocco is going to be exactly like France Senegal in 2002. Mm-hmm. Ah, but mm-hmm. we know you. But you, you know us. Mm-hmm. The way it was France and Spain. Ah, no, Morocco and Spain. You know, yeah. Morocco and Spain, there is no way. Yeah, they are like, we know you. Mm-hmm. Ah, but we know you. But me, I'm born. I know I'm you. Born in Madrid. Ah, there's no way. Yeah, I'm born in Madrid. There is no way. <laughs> yeah. it's, going to be, it's going to be almost a derby of sorts. Okay. I guarantee you there will be riots in, Morocco, in, in, in the streets of France. Mm-hmm. The way they are every time Algeria do well. Mm-hmm. There will be. The way there was the day Belgium, they beat Belgium. Yeah, in Brussels. In mm-hmm. Brussels. Yeah. There, there yeah. will be. Yeah. So there's those derby, that derby component will be good. Yeah. And I think it will be very, very, very good. But yes, the fact that they are playing without... Their players get injured. Every game one player yeah, gets exactly. injured. They're like, yeah. okay. Mm. They're like, hey, who's who this time? Mazrawi Sawa. Mm. Okay. Uh, who's next? Uh, the big defender. Alga. Alga. Uh, uh, Sawa. Yeah. Uh, who's Even next? Uh, so Bono, Bono is, is, is ill like before the game. Uh, yeah. Sawa. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, Sawa. Yeah. It's almost like, it's okay. Uh, who, uh, I like that about them. Uh, and you know, for myself, because I didn't have much faith in them coming into yesterday. And because most of their style is predicated on everyone playing at the plan and they've been really impressive and i guess there is something ellie said before we finish up the show last week and he mentioned sofia namra but i think he's mm, been he's the best player for this team sure. so far in this competition i had a different opinion last week because i thought uh, uh hakim ziek was good yeah but sofia namra but i don't looking... think ziek is in the top five of their good players at this world cup nope oh well yeah, amra yeah, but um, mm. okay bono, bono. Mm-hmm. Saiz, the captain, yes. <laughs> Hakimi, yes. Unahi. Yes. Oh, so are we, are, we, are we not at five? Yeah, we are at five. five. <laughs> He's not. Yeah, it's a coordinated effort anyway. They, they, no, 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 no. No. Amrabat no. is special. Yes. He's Unahi almost. is special. He's more special. Yeah. Those two, uh, fantastic. Mm. Saiz at the back is like a rock. He's like, uh, thou shall not pass. Then you have Bono, who just smiles and mm. laughs. And then makes sense and intimidate, and then say, But he's a big guy, he's, yes. big, he's yeah. a he's... huge man, yeah. Then, no, Morocco. Fan. I was, I was never afraid of yesterday. I know I said I thought Portugal would win, mm-hmm. like initially, because I thought, ah, I thought this run has to come to an end at some point, yeah. But when I watched the first half, though Portugal carrying gifts, that goal is a gift. That goal is a gift. Mm. I don't know who you blame for. Is it Diogo the Costa? keeper? Mm. Diogo Costa. Where is he going? Yeah. He came out and didn't get Please sit back. Yeah. Please let the defend. Because he came out almost to the penalty spot. Mm. If you come and out as a commit, keeper, yes. you, have you have got to, to commit, put a hand yeah. to the ball. Yeah. Mm. It doesn't matter how soft, you have to get attached to the ball. The keeper comes out, mm. he makes it easy. Yeah. Mm. And what a leap from NSD. He, oh, wow. he makes it easy. Yes. The keeper comes out, don't come out. Yeah. Just sit in the... the it was a gift. And I think we should we should finish by saying let's come back and ask. So, uh, superstar, uh, you are goat, you are goat. Okay. <laughs> what happens to him now? He I'll, I'll shoulder him. I'll shoulder he's him. Good. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Point of yeah, yeah, he's him. good. Yeah, he's good. Eighteen on two one. Good afternoon. <laughs>